Kicking off signing day here in New York City, Woody Womack and Mike Farrell. Bright we're, and early. We're ready. I, I, I saw 7 o'clock the letters started coming in. Yeah, yeah. I was up at 6.30. Oh, Took a little you. nap, half, you know, <laughs> half hour back to sleep. <laughs> I'm ready, though. I don't sleep at all. I was so excited. Oh, so, yeah, uh, sure. Let's talk about what we're looking forward to today. Which teams? You got your, yeah. you got your phone out. Mike's looking at his phone. No, I, I, what are you seeing? Which teams are we going to be excited today? Gonna well, great we're going to go through them. So okay. Clemson's going to do fine today, right? Just fine? No, I mean, they could finish number one. Um, Malcolm Green already flipped. So who else are they waiting on? Just regular letters? and that, uh, that Jordan Birch. Jordan Birch and that Justin Flo. Justin Flo still said that Clemson's in it. Not a take. No, that's not. Fit the, the, the story apparently is that um, they asked Justin Flo to commit before they offered Trenton Simpson, and he said he wasn't comfortable doing that because he still hadn't decided. And they said, "All right, we're taking Trenton Simpson." But if he called today and said he's coming, I think Clemson would take him. So we did a video on Monday saying he was going to Oregon. We did a video yesterday saying I, he's going. I to still USC. think he's going to USC. Okay. <laughs> still going. think he's going to USC. <laughs> okay. LSU is going to do very well. But they're going to have a lot of moving parts because they're cutting kids like yeah, coming and going. NFL incredible. training camp, yeah, man. What's they're going just on? lopping heads off. And uh, what's that? Marie Antoinette? She didn't yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let them eat cake. At least Al they let us eat cake. Well, LSU will do fine. <laughs> um, Alabama, we know they're going to do okay. They're number three right now. Um, you think they pull a surprise? I think they'll get one. You I think know. they get like a. Darnell Washington, or I know he's announcing at the All-Star game he's not signing, but secret signing, or are you like a Jordan Birch, or? I don't know if they're getting Birch. They're getting Gage get McClellan. Yeah, oh, that's who they're getting. Yeah, that's yeah. their big move. That's a flip from the Sooners, so that'll happen. Um, Ohio State, very steady. Right. No drama. C.J. Stroud coming. He's committing, and then that'll be it. You know, like, Ohio State always, for the last few years, has had very calm, cool signing days, right? and that's the way you want to do okay. it. A&M, uh, Diggs from Jersey could go to Maryland, not sure. Yeah, EJ Smith. EJ Smith will probably commit to A&M, I think, although you said Stanford. Um, that was yesterday, that doesn't count today. So there's, there's definite moving parts there. Donnell Harris. Oh, that's the big one. Well, Wait. yeah, he's going to stick with A&M is the word. So That was the, but we had the word, he was going to Florida. Right. It's gone back and forth. He yeah. can change his mind before. He could, but like A&M's, four A&M's uh, fifth. Florida, not going to get Donnell, it looks like, but we'll get um, Timothy Smith. maybe Timothy Smith. If they don't get Donnell and, and they whiff on Timothy Smith, the fans are going to be very, Yeah, very it's going to be a bad day. Then it's going to be like, well, he can't recruit. All he can do is win games. <laughs> <laughs> All he like, can do is coach really well. Yeah, oh, oh that sucks. Let's just win 10 games, 11 games every year. Georgia. Georgia, I, I tweeted yesterday, Georgia could come out of nowhere and just pop up to number one. They're going to have a big, they did that big, last year. big day. That was two years ago. Remember two years ago, the ridiculousness? Well, yeah, two years ago was ridiculous. Like Mays and all those other guys. Last year, we made them number one. We did. They finished number one, I think, in the second. Michigan? Oh, that's right. It was at the end. You're very right. Very quiet, taking an unknown quarterback from New York, who will probably end up being great. And what, what no, based no, on uh, Jim Harbaugh's quarterback development at Michigan. What makes me think he's going to yeah, be great? Yeah, so because far. we've never heard of him, and that's how it works. Okay. He'll be one of those kids in a few years we'll look back. What do back. we rank him? I'm not telling you. He's at a low three-star. Oh, okay. So yeah. low well, I'm just wondering. I, didn't, I saw he was unranked. Auburn? Slacking. Kind of quiet? Yeah, they're quiet. Well, they missed out yesterday on the JUCO offensive lineman that's, that committed to Kentucky. And I saw this morning... They did sign a Juco guy, another one of these German offensive linemen. Broderick Jones, though, might not sign, and Auburn's trying to right. That's going to be a long make that we're happen. Gonna be, we're going to carry that into February when we live here until February. Miami, not pretty. No, what's going on? I don't know. What are they ranked now? Tenth, but they're going to slide. Oh, jeez. Washington, very surprisingly, number eleven ahead of Oregon, but Oregon's going to pass them, I think, today in the Pac-12. But I'm, I'm surprised Washington's doing so well, especially with the coaching change. Yeah, but people love it. They love Jimmy Lake. Yeah, no, I get that. And they've got, you know, each of them have one five-star. Oregon's got Sewell, and they've got Savelle Smalls and a bunch of four-stars. So it's really close how, between those two. How high, if USC gets flow, like you're predicting, and they get some of these other guys. Hold think, on, let me scroll to USC. I think they're in, like, the 60s. Hold on. 
Was it Gary Bryant? Is that who else they're going to get today? Yeah. They're 75th. Forget it. How high do they make it? They can't. I mean, they, they, they got 10 commitments. So let's say they get like four kids today. They're yeah, not, they're I don't think they're getting in the, I don't think they're getting near the top 25. Embarrassing. Just embarrassing. I don't know how the points work. I've worked embarrassing. For seven years, I, don't I got it all in my head. <laughs> Oklahoma, number 12. Texas, number 18. I don't see Texas making a jump ahead of Oklahoma. So Oklahoma is going to win the Big 12, at least in the early signing period. Penn State with a very quiet, excellent class. 27 kids, big class, 214th. North Carolina doing well. Notre Dame is Notre Dame. They'll do fine, but it's a small class. Nebraska. And rounding it out is Tennessee and Kentucky, and I think Kentucky is going to finish ahead of Tennessee. Wow, really? Yeah, which is some big deal. Well, so, so Tyler Barron, I think he's going around noon. Dad works at Tennessee. Kentucky thinks they're getting it. Kentucky's killing it. If they were to get that, that'd be a meltdown situation. If, if uh, Kentucky finished ahead of Tennessee. Just, you know, if they get Tyler. Well, that, oh, oh, and if oh. they get Tyler Barron, Tennessee fans would not be happy. Yeah. So uh, other teams that are struggling that really don't like Florida State's 37th but they could get Chubba Purdy flip That'd him a nice one. get a few other guys they'll probably bump up into the top 25 um, that's I mean Ole Miss is going to also make a move I think they're 49th right now Lane Kiffin will get some guys uh, and, and you said Kentucky's going to get potentially a few a few other ones or maybe some four star ones. They're recruiting defensive line at an elite level. Yeah, they're going to get a big defensive tackle that nobody thinks they're getting. So, <laughs> what's his name? Mike? But you didn't. I'm not saying oh, okay. the name. Okay. Baylor, 58th after the season they've had, but it doesn't matter because Matt Rule coaches two stars into five stars. That's right. So really, that's it. I mean, I can't see any other. I mean, Utah is a mystery at 75th. But <laughs> so, anyways, they forgot to recruit. Who's going to finish number one? Let's make your Clemson. early, early morning. Clemson, <clears throat> with that 4.09 star rating. That's pretty high. Is very impressive. I'm going to go with Clemson as well. Okay. All right. Dave's saying wrap it up. This is, means wrap it up. <laughs> I'm on my Time. 15th cup of coffee yeah. already. Mike's just reading this. He'll, he'll keep, we'll stop recording and he'll still be talking. I'm fired up. But uh, anyway, keep, stay tuned to Ravels.com. We will be breaking down uh, all the big news throughout today. And, uh, and follow us. What's your follow Twitter? Follow us on Twitter, at Rivals Woody. He doesn't tweet much. I tweet a lot. Rivals Mike.